So somebody asked me a question the other day. It was a female, corporate woman, right? Successful in her own right. Why do she need a man when she's like, got her house, educated, got her money, self-sufficient, right? And I could have answered that. I could have went into a long, drawn out conversation, but I didn't. Why? I didn't feel I, I didn't feel the need to. But I wanted to just 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 say this, ladies, not just ladies, just people in general. Let me explain something to you. This whole like, first of all, let me just say some qualifications for myself: been married, divorced, you know, got my daughter, co-parenting. So I, you know, I, I got some experience. Let's just say that. Uh, let, let me just say this: the importance of of a man to a woman, or a woman to a man. I'm gonna be honest with you: money is a, is a very insignificant. It's a very small aspect of it. Now, I can hear the pushback and the blowback. So let me just say this: money is a very. It's an aspect, right? It's an aspect. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely plays its role. You know, we're not naive, but let me let me make this clear. In the grand scheme of things, and wh when I say, to you know, to segue where I'm about to go, let me just say this: in the grand scheme of things, what I'm about to say next, money is a very small role. It plays a very small role, ladies, gentlemen. When that sister say to me, "Why would she need a man when she got her stuff all together?" Let me explain something to you. The material aspects that a man brings, or that or, or that we bring, or whatever, whatever material, materialism, it's a very small, very very small uh, aspect to the importance of of our roles and our significance to each other. All right. Having said that, I'm going to come at it from a, a scientific standpoint because I hear a lot of people. A lot of people come at, come at come at this conversation from a more economic standpoint, right? And again, that that materialism. But I'm gonna come. At, I'm, I'm gonna address it with a more scientific view. There's something in your body called free radicals, okay? There's a, there's something that call there's something there's a process in your body that all of us go through. It's natural. It's called the oxidative stress, right? Oxidative stress just means oxygen splits in your body and creates that uh, a, a single atom that's called a free radical. That free radical is again, it's the result of the splitting of an atom. Let let that word splitting resonate, right? So you have an oxygen atom in your body that is it's functioning properly. It splits. When it splits, it becomes what's called a free radical. Now, inside, within everybody's, within, within the atom, there's something called an electron. Electrons have to be paired. They have to be paired. Okay, so we're seeing, it's scientific. This is science here. Electrons need and like to be paired. Paired, okay. Paired can be, paired can be termed coupled. Paired can be termed for the, sake of the context of this conversation the word peered can be looked at as being in a relationship electrons like to be in a relationship uh, they, they need to be peered scientifically the scientific jargon is peered right but we can translate that into today's you know modern language and say electrons like to be coupled they like to be in relationships I'm using science to prove the importance of the man to the woman right irrespective of your money ladies an electron needs to be paired. Now, the question is this, scientifically, why? Because in order for a molecule to form, an electron must be paired. When electrons paired, when an electron is paired, it forms what's called a molecule. Molecules bond together and form chains of molecules, which forms objects, which forms things, everything we see in the world, right? So let's get, let's re-engineer and get back to the micro subatomic science. So when the when the atom splits, the oxygen atom splits, it is now single and is now called a free radical. Now here's the thing. Scientifically and medically it's proven free radicals are a, uh, a a number one leading cause of cancers, uh, uh, Parkinson's disease, uh 
Alzheimer's, I, yeah, Alzheimer's, you can research the stuff, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, cancers, and, and various other diseases in the body. They, they're also linked to aging because of what's called the oxidative process, right? So free radicals scientifically are harmful to the body. They, they are very distressing to your overall body. Something else to note about free radicals. Free radicals, the reason they're called free radicals again is because I want to be very clear. They went from being paired as an electron to a splitting. Now they're a single electron. Now, by the very nature of electrons, which are just negatively charged atoms or negatively charged ions, it's called ions, negatively charged ions, they need to be attracted to positively charged, which is called cations. Cations and anions, right? Cations are positively charged particles. They need to be paired to them. So the electron needs to be paired. This is why magnets opposite attract, right? So the electron needs to be paired. Now it's no longer paired because the atom split, the oxygen atom in your body split, it's now a free radical. Here's something else that I know while I was researching the stuff. Free radicals, once they're freed in the body, they go around like scavenger hunting. What are they hunting? Other electrons. Remember, scientifically, they need to be paired. Once unpaired, split, they go around in the body looking for other electrons to steal this is scientific facts this is not my hyper this is not a hyperbolization i'm not exaggerating this is not a guesstimate a guesstimate you know me guessing uh this is not a, a hypothesis this is uh empirical data meaning studied research observed and proven right a free radical scavenges the rest of your body looking for electrons to steal from other molecules. Now remember, a molecule is an electro is, is an atom that has been bonded. When atoms bond, they make molecules and proteins and so on and so forth. So the free radical that is not paired, not bonded, single, will, will go around the body and steal electrons from other paired, stabilized molecules. When this happens, those molecules become destabilized because they lost their electron. Now, those molecules that were once stable are now no longer molecules. They themselves become what? Free radicals because they lost an electron. So when an atom loses an electron, it's called a free radical. And it goes around looking for other electrons from other molecules to steal, which destabilizes those molecules and creates other chain reaction free radicals. I hope you're following me. It's a little dense, but stick with me. So... It, it, you know, ladies, the importance of the man in your life, it's very, very uh, important that we don't uh, stay in 3D thinking, which meaning you, 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 you're operating based off only your five senses. You're going off of what you just, you know, tangibles, which you can see, feel, and touch, materialism. We got to understand that this this bigger, the, the body, your body, your physical body is a representation of the universe. Your physical body uh, has to be what's, what's called homeostasis, right? The endocrine system, all that. Homeostasis just simply means your body is functioning fully in balance with itself. There's a balance of your chemicals, your gases, everything is balanced. Your cell reproduction, everything is balanced. Once that balance is thrown off, that's where illnesses, psychological, physical, biological, that's where all that stuff comes from. So take that as an analogy for your for, for life, right? The man, the woman, right? Why the man can't say, I'm a strong black man, I got money, I don't need a woman. Why a woman should never say, I'm a strong black woman, I got money, I don't need a man. Because both of us, we, for both species to uh, operate uh, in homeostasis, right? As a balanced molecule, right? We need the stabilization, which is the uh, masculine and the feminine, the, 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 the estrogen and the testosterone. We need that to create what's called dynamic equilibrium so that we as a, a, a species, as a people, as a family can be progressive we can evolve together raise our children and have a better world period miss me with the i got my own money got my own house i don't need a man <laughs> believe you me all that that you got you are a free radical and a free radical scientifically medically is dangerous to the body so I don't care how much money you got, ladies. I don't care how much cars you got, how much houses you got, how much corporate degrees you got, how much this you got. If you are a woman who's walking around alpha, right? 
and and I don't need a man because I got I'm modern. Understand this. This is this 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 is mind blowing stuff. This is beyond uh, your your, in, your finite limited uh, thought process. It has nothing to do with that. It's you are a free radical, which is dangerous to the body. And and and, and if we translate that into modern language, as a free radical, we are dangerous to our communities. Right with the propagation. Right, propagandizing, right, with the promoting of these uh, self-sufficient, independent, I don't need you attitudes. It's dangerous, it's deadly to the body, scientifically, as well as culturally. Peace.